Hello my soccer universe to another African unpacking video. African unpacking video? I'm wearing the Cote d'Ivoire. They just won the AFCON. Why do I want to have another African jersey? Well, that's a whole story that I will need to tell you here. The fact is, the jersey has finally arrived and here we are. And I would say before we open this one, let's talk about it. Why I ordered this shirt, why it arrived late, and so on and so, and so forth. First of all, in my <laughs> state of the collection address, I really like that name, although it sounds so grandiose, which is isn't. I said, I'm not going to buy any jersey for, for, for the FCOM. Well, two jerseys later, I already bought two. Uh, namely because this was really cheap and this one I found also cheap and I wanted to have this already for the last F FCOM and now I got it for an even better price at the player spec. The one thing is that when I look at all my African jerseys, this is one of my favorite sub collections on the national team side, but overall as well. I love the colors. However, the colors, I mean, there's white and then you see all the colors that are present in Africa right there. It's all the African colors. Of course, we have the green, we have the yellow, we have the uh, red, we have some black thrown in. We have the Cote d'Ivoire with an uh, orange one, yes, there is some white ones, but it's usually these colors. There's one color very, very much missing, which is blue, of course. And there are a couple of African teams that play in blue jerseys here and there. I mean, Cape Verde was good. There was, uh, I think, Tanzania had someone, Namibia sometimes playing a blue jersey. Uh, and then, of course, there's the big one in the DRC which are kind of the sleeping giants in Africa. And what's more, during the AFCON, after the quarterfinal stage, I mean, I already had, you know, whenever you, s you watch a tournament, you see jerseys, oh, I really like these colors, I like this shirt, I like this shirt, and I always try to see, could I get this one? I mean, I looked at the Mali jer uh, the jer jerseys, yes, I could, I could have gotten that one, I already have two Mali jerseys, so I don't need uh, more than that, although a, a green Mali jersey is definitely something and maybe at some point could consider. These years were quite nice. Um, so always look, Cape Verde, I actually really like their stuff. And Tempo is an Egyptian fan. I cannot find I cannot find that. And so I also looked for the DRC. Well, I said, found one, didn't necessarily like the price. I uh, said, okay, yeah, I mean, I really would like to have, and DRC has been on my radar for quite a while. I had also to be to, to, to said, especially the head one, I think from 2015 or whatever, the, the uh, leopard uh, whole body print all over. I really liked the one from 2012, where they had basically they're mimicking the flag. So really, DRC was on there. And then they make it convincingly to the semifinals. And at that point, I already had ordered these two shirts, which basically ate my budget. And I say, oh, the DRC is looking good. And they were about to play a court, court you are, who, as you remember, did not play very well against Mali. They might actually win this one. And that's the only team that I don't have in the collection where I don't have half a jersey from the semifinals. In addition, they play in light blue. Pfft, what shall I do? What shall I do? Shall I order? Shall I order or order this? I'm going back and forth. I'm really tormenting myself. And this is what I, you know, when I feel I'm over budget, but you know, this would be really nice. And I know I shouldn't because, you know, 60 euros uh, then plus shipping. We are, uh, we are going over the 70 euro uh, deal. Um, it's not, I shouldn't do it. And you know, I was going back and forth on on this, and I, I even I'm, I was so crazy. I had had a sleepless night, and I said to my wife at one point, I talked, "Can I just tell you what's eating me?" And I know what's the right thing to do. The right thing to do is not to order. I really know that. Just hear me out. Uh, there is this jersey. I wanna. I think it would be really nice for my collection. I think down the line, I may be able to use it. Although at this point, I don't know if I will be using it for the World Cup, whatever it is. Uh, but I know what's the right thing to do. But I'm really, 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 really tempted to get it because I, I, it's really nice 
in addition, I don't think his jersey will be along for uh, uh, around for a long time as well. So there's that as well. And she listened to me, and she kind of, you know, uh, said, you know, I'm okay if you or 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 or, or it. I just I said, you know, but I don't think it's the right thing to do. Then add to that complication. Um, we're talking now. I think it's the day before the semifinal. I see the leaks for the Milan fourth jersey, the pleasures one, the, uh, the gray with the nice uh, line. But I only see that it's pre or order it costs one 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 fifty. Nini is a really really like this jer uh, jersey. Uh, well, I said nah nah I not gonna do that and then the next morning you know i'm going back and forth i watch this and, uh, and i also see that this jersey i can get with express shipping so chips the next day is with, with me i say hmm hmm this could work out and then while well, my wife says it's okay i was at the moment in the morning saying ah, it's not okay but then uh, now i really would like to have it i even was flipping a coin where it says I shouldn't buy them, I said, come on, sit down, buy it. Tells you how awesome of a wife I have. And so we bought it together. And then I've been waiting. This shirt here, that I really would have liked to have in my AFCON car coverage, because it would have been so nice. I ordered it on a Wednesday. It didn't ship until the next Monday. And now it's Wednesday, so... In that sense, it's a little bit a sad thing. However, the shirt is still really, really nice. I'm very happy to unveil it to you. It is a DRC jersey. It's a jersey that will fit so nicely within my African collection. The DRC was on the previous uh, FFCon, but they have been regulars. They're for me the sleeping giants. So I'm very happy to finally have a DRC jersey. And let me show you, it really, fulfills most criteria so let me unpack this one and i'll show it to you okay parcel is open it's a company that i don't have have yet here's the back side oh those beautiful drc colors and here's the front it's from o'neill's an irish company and I would be really happy. I, I think i'm really happy over over with what i have it the only thing that annoys me is Besides that the DRC then only finished in fourth place, what really annoys me is that it didn't ship on time. But it's a DRC jersey. That's all that I've wanted. And this is the one from the previous year because now they are with Umbro. So this is the last one from O'Neill's. I'm really curious to see this one. I can already tell you. I mean, you see there is a leopard print in there. Can already tell you. This is a very sturdy material. I do like that. It's an XL. I don't think this one has tags, which I think is also interesting. Everything is printed, so maybe. I mean, if I... Let's show it to you like this. I mean, it's the DRC colors. You see the flag is kind of mimicked in there, although it's a center stripe. Personally, maybe the color could have gone um, uh, all the way through in blue. But other than that, it's really nice we have the DRC crest, which is of course also printed on, like the flag. I would personally switch these two, but you know, small d d d d details. It's a beautiful shirt. I'm really happy. The only thing, again, why could this arrive on time? But it would fit now so nicely here with the rest. But I really have to tell you, this material is very smooth, very thick and sturdy, which is something I did not expect but you know maybe i'm not uh surprised as well given that they usually uh so so supply for you know more british sports jerseys before i hang it up on the back it's blank i didn't get a name because they, they would have added to the time and you know it just says o'neill's but yeah that's what i wanted to for completeness sake but ta-da we have a blue jersey in the collection now when i look at it I absolutely love this jersey. I love the colors because they are quite unique. I love that there's a leopard print down the center. 
which you know also my daughter uh, did like when we made the video so that is all cool and I think it's very nicely dovetails into my African collection so no regrets there I'm a little bit ashamed of how I acted out and kind of <laughs> going back and forth shall I buy shall, 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 shall not buy I probably waited too long I probably waited too long for that little bit um, mad at myself teeny bit ashamed as well but again I want to thank my wonderful wife for finally encouraging me to just go for it and not one one want one, one, wonder about it um, it would be stupid to say is this now is it better that I got this over the Milan fourth jersey I don't think this compares because I would not have gotten the full version and so in that sense maybe this was a no-brainer to get this jersey I think I I truly think I will get quite some mileage out of this one because you know AFCON it's one of my favorite things I love African jerseys I want to get as many African countries as possible uh, and the DRC being as I say a sleep, sleeping giant in that sense I probably do not regret this uh, I also have so many really awesome Milan jerseys that this fourth jersey while it's really really nice and a very welcome addition to the canon I think I have Milan jerseys that are way more um, meaningful to me and probably also more valuable so in that sense I think I did the right thing and I didn't do the right thing because the right thing would have been to not order but before this one sells out I better have it size wise that's the last thing I, I want to say it is it claims it is a relatively relaxed fit and from the way this shirt feels this is absolutely true so uh, that's cool I think it's also a very almost Nike like comfortable material very smooth material to wear so looking forward to actually be wear, wearing it now that it doesn't have any tags there's no reason to not wear it any case, let me know what you think about this one and my story. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you soon about more in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!